In this video, we're going to talk about Bricktown, New Jersey and actually how Brick has no town, the two high schools that service Bricktown, New Jersey and the scholastic program that Bricktown, New Jersey is famous for. You're gonna learn all about the ultimate guide to Bricktown, New Jersey from a resident of Ocean County for over 25 years on this second term here. I'm Jim Flanagan, broker of record, Cobalt Banker Flanagan Realty, and you are very welcome to the ultimate guide to Bricktown, New Jersey. This channel is all about living in the towns in Ocean County, New Jersey. Toms River, Bricktown, Bayville, Ocean Gate, Pine Beach, you name the town in Ocean County. As a licensed realtor here in Ocean County, New Jersey, I probably know all about it. So if you're interested in buying or selling anywhere in Ocean County, New Jersey, reach out, either give me a call, text me, find me here on YouTube, or email me, old school. Unlike most of the other towns here in Ocean County, New Jersey, Bricktown actually has no town center. Most of the stores are located on a couple of the main roads, but there's no centralized downtown area. So hence, no town. But Brick itself, the municipality or the township, is actually about equal to Tom's River as far as square mileage, but a little less in population, averaging about 75,000 people, where Tom's River is about 95,000 people or, or population. Now, the interesting thing about Brick or Bricktown, and I'm gonna to refer to it as Brick throughout the remainder of this video, but the interesting thing about Brick is that it's basically divided in half by two rivers. The Manasquan ultimately to the north, which actually separates Ocean County and Monmouth County, and the Matitaconk, which actually cuts Brick in half, or Brick Township in half. And, coincidentally, or deliberately, that's why Bricktown has two zip codes, 08723 and 08724. So 08724 is north of the Matitaconk, and 08723 is south of the Matitaconk. Also, if you didn't know, Brick is kind of sandwiched between Lakewood to the left, Point Pleasant, and Point Pleasant Beach to the right, and just underneath is Tom's River, of course, and as I mentioned earlier in this video, to the north of Bricktown, across the Manasquan River, is Monmouth County. So Brick is kind of like the northernmost township of Ocean County. Now, similar to its cousin, brother, or sister, if you want, to the south, Tom's River, Brick is comprised mostly of single-family residences, a lot of waterfront communities. As I mentioned, there's two rivers, not to mention it also abuts against Point Pleasant and Point Pleasant Beach, and just like Tom's River, Brick actually has beaches over on the Barrier Island side. So it does go all the way to the Atlantic Ocean, technically. So you have a mix of homes. About a third are actually waterfront or water view homes. There's also about a third that comprised adult communities. As I mentioned, Ocean County is home to over 155 plus adult community retirement villages. So Bricktown has its fair share of retirement villages. And the rest are your normal single family homes, ranches, colonials, bi-levels, you name it. But they have some real nice, Bricktown has some real nice waterfront homes up and down Princeton Avenue. And of course, as I mentioned early, over on the brick beaches. Now currently at the time that this video is being recorded, the average sales price of a single family non-waterfront home in Bricktown or Brick is running anywhere from about $350,000 for a three bedroom, one bath ranch non-waterfront home, all the way up to probably close to about $750,000, $850,000 for a nice McMansion non-waterfront. Once we get onto the waterfront or riverfront homes in Bricktown, if you're on the Matitaconk or the Manus Squan River, you're looking in excess of a million dollars. And of course, over on the brick beaches, the oceanfront and bayfront, that's a whole nother world over there. We're talking starting at a million all the way up to who knows today, five million, six million. Now that we've talked a little bit about diversity of the style of homes in Bricktown, let's talk about how we navigate in and out of Bricktown. As I mentioned before, there is no town center. So navigating your way through Bricktown, it's again, subdivided by two rivers, can be pretty tricky. So you have to know the roadways you know, that go north and south and east and west. So the predominant roads that go north and south, of course, 
The Garden State Parkway runs right up the west side of Bricktown, so it runs north to south. Also, you have Route 549, otherwise known as Hooper Avenue for us Tom's River folk, that runs north into Bricktown and then northwest through Bricktown into Howell and Farmingdale. As far as east to west go, or west to east goes, you have Route 70 that runs through Bricktown, heading east through Brick to Brielle, and then in, into Point and into Monmouth County. You also have Herbertsville Road, which runs from the northwestern side of Bricktown, southeast through Bricktown, ultimately into Point Pleasant and Point Pleasant Beach. Now, as I mentioned earlier, also, Brick is divided by those two rivers. So the Matitaconk is kind of like the Mason-Dixon line of Bricktown. So zip code 08723 is to the south, and zip code 08724 is to the north of the Matitaconk River. There are two high schools in Brick. Each services each zip code. So the original Bricktown High School isn't located in 08723, so that's south of the Matitaconk. So that's the Brick Green Dragons. The newest or most recent high school that services 08724, the area to the north of the Matitaconk, south of the Manasquan, is Brick Memorial High School. Now, obviously having two high schools service one town or one community leads to an inter-township rivalry. So there's a, a lot of scholastic rivalry between the two competing high schools. And if that's not enough, there's even more rivalry with their neighbors to the south, Tom's River. When I was growing up in Tom's River back in the early 80s, there was only the original Brick Green Dragons. Brick Memorial opened up, I think, at the end of my tenure in high school. So Brick Memorial really didn't come into existence or start competing with Tom's River until the mid later 80s. So there's always been a rivalry between Tom's River and Brick, and now there's an inter-township rivalry between Brick High School and Brick Memorial. And last but certainly not least, what I, what I alluded to at the beginning of this video, Brick Township, Brick, New Jersey, nationally renowned for its autism programs. There are people that move to Ocean County that specifically request, I've talked to them personally, that they want a home in Bricktown because of their autistic programs, their work with autistic children. So if you or any of your friends are blessed with an autistic child, Bricktown, New Jersey is structured to service your family's needs and your children's needs above and beyond anywhere else in the state of New Jersey and in the county of Ocean. Oh, and I would be remiss if I did not mention or state that Brick is also home to Brick Hospital. So we do have a hospital in Brick, just like we have a hospital in Toms River. We have Community Memorial Hospital in Toms River, and we have Brick Hospital in Brick. So there is a hospital dedicated to the 75,000 plus population in Bricktown. As a matter of fact, between me and you, I go to Brick. When I hurt myself, when I broke my rib eight years ago, I drove myself to Brick. When my parents get hurt, I drive them to Brick. So just a little side tip here from yours truly, go to Brick Hospital, don't tell Community Memorial. Well, I hope you found the ultimate guide to Brick, New Jersey useful. Please feel free to check out some of our other videos about Ocean County, New Jersey right here on this channel. And like I mentioned before, if you are thinking about selling or buying anywhere in Ocean County, New Jersey, reach out to us. You can find us on FlanaganFirst.com, FlanaganRealty.com. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. You can text, call, and or email. And the rest of the day to yourself. <laughs>